Hi, I'm Daryl. And I'm Mindy. And we're the two Food. trippers. And we are in Lisbon. Portugal. Oh, yes, we are. And we are going to be cooking some food today. I hear we're going to be cooking arroz de pato. And what is arroz de pato? Well, I think you might be a little bit happy. Yes. It translates to duck rice. What rice? Duck. Well, let's go cook. I'm hungry. We will cook duck rice. Where are we going to go? Uh, to the market. Mercado 31 de Janeiro. Oh, I am not going to repeat that. Let's ha. go. <laughs> so this is the January 31st market. Janeiro 31. But I'm confused. It's March. So it was a revolution in Portugal, so it's a symbolic date. It was one of the first tryings to implement a republic in Portugal. Does it have anything to do with food? No. <laughs> Here we will buy the fresh produce. I need my shopping list. <laughs> Onion, cebola in Portuguese. We are mad about it. Garlic. I love garlic. Leek, perfect for the stock. Carrots, also for our stock. Cenoura. Oranges in Portugal, they are really good. They are finishing the season now, so they are much better during the winter. I didn't know that. So this is coentro, cilantro. We are buying the duck. Atenção. Cinco Muito obrigado. Obrigada. So today we are not buying fish, but I will show you our fishes in Portugal. This is the liver from the monkfish that we call it the foie gras from the sea. Choco, inkfish, cuttlefish. So this is John Dory, we call it peixe galo. So this is black scabbard fish, it's really dark because it swims on really deep waters. We have a strong bread culture because it's good flowers and wood oven bread. And what do we call bread in Portugal? A beautiful one. I'm gonna taste it now. Me too. Mm. Mm. We bought all our stuff at the market, Anna, right? I hope. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't too much, but hopefully just enough things. Just enough to make what? Arroz de pato. Which is what, Mindy? Duck rice. First, we will do the stock. We will need olive oil, carrot, onion, orange, chorizo, bacon, bay leaf, duck, cloves, mustard seeds. We will need everything. Many, many things. A little bit more. Cut in four, please. Orange peel, like the French. The cal orange. Oui. Ma oui. Meat chorizo, it's a hot smoked, of course. You can eat it like this, so you can see a lot of chunks, fat chunks, okay. to separate the leaves. And for now, we will use this. So we wash the leaves. You just take the dirt out. Mm, hot smoke. We can actually eat this. And eat it right away. We will add the ingredients that we cut it into the hot olive oil. Mindy, you've made stock. Is this amazingly easy or what? And it smells so good. Now, goes in. One or two minutes. White wine, so. Butter. Well, all the ingredients should be covered. Mainly the duck, of course. Next up, cilantro. Dry thyme. Never enough time. <laughs> Bay leaf. Oh. Two cloves. <laughs> Mustard seeds. We will cook it like for 45 minutes and then we come back. Anna, now we wait. Yes, now we need to wait. So it's the perfect time to drink a glass of wine. What kind of cheeses do you have? So, Portuguese cottage cheese, it's mm. a fresh cheese. Mm -hmm. Tremoso, which uh -huh. is a lupine bean. Uh -huh. Portuguese olives, uh -huh. uh, olive oil and bread. Oh my god. Well, the one we buy. All right, time to attack. I'm going to dip mine in olive oil. I'm just going to eat mine with cottage cheese. You love cottage cheese. I adore it. You know, Let's give it a try. When Mindy and I first started dating, she used to comment. She probably did a one hour conversation on the cottage cheese she likes. With hot sauce. With hot sauce. Yeah. 
And now, I will take out part of the chorizo. Arrefogado, it's the main Portuguese technique. We add olive oil, onion and garlic. Here we have an extra flavor that it will be the leek. We are adding everything on cold. We are softening the onions. We almost have an infusion. Some salt to bring the onion juices out. The duck is cooked 45 minutes, so I will remove the duck. So Anna, what happens if you overcook the duck? So it will be a rubber. So now we will shred it. I diced some uh, uh, carrots and then I added to the refugado to give more flavor. Now I will add the chorizo and bacon perfectly chopped. adding the stock. We will add the rest of the duck. Wow, gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> we will transfer the rice and the duck to this well-seasoned um, tray, as you can see. Yeah, the magic. We are flattening it. The fight is for the bacon. <laughs> Who gets the bacon? 10, 15 minutes in the oven at 180 Celsius. Uh, about 350 Fahrenheit. All right, let's open that oven. Dun, dun. Right there. Oh my. Arroz de pato de Lisboa. Mindy, let's try this. I can't wait. All right, I hope let's. you like. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So many flavors. You have the carrot, you have the, the garlic, the, the spices, you, we have some clove. Um, we yeah. have yeah. orange. We have orange, but the orange. Yeah, it, it's light. There's <laughs> orange zest in mm. the rice. Mm. Yeah. Um, mm. of course, we have the duck. This is really you know a lot of people talk about pastel de nata. A lot of people talk about bacalhau, but to me, this is what great Portuguese food is all about, right? Arroz Vinny? de pata. And you know what else? What? We have wine. Well, yes, we do. Always. Cheers. And I want to say cheers to Anna. Thank you. Our wonderful host Aww. and chef. You're amazing. Thank you. Anna, Thank you. please tell us about your wonderful cooking school. Oh, so Lisbon Cooking Academy, it's my baby with one year and a half old. Wow. Um, basically, we teach Portuguese gastronomy in a fun and relaxed environment to all the ones who want to come and learn a little bit more about oh. Portuguese culture. Well, I have to say you're right because I had fun and I feel relaxed. So, <laughs> yeah. And this is the delicious, <laughs> really it, quite good. Yeah, and I mean, food should be fun. Yeah, and but the best part is you really showed us how to cook. So now we can try to make it at home. It might not taste quite as good as yours, but maybe it will. Send me pictures. I so. Okay. I think mine will taste pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you invite me. It's a deal. <laughs> One of the great parts of this school, it's actually in a local neighborhood. It's not down in like Touristville. You're here and you are cooking as a local with a local. And we're right near the market, so it's a full experience. It's Absolutely. Awesome. Please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and please subscribe. So, from Lisbon, I'm Daryl. And I'm Mindy. And we're the two Food. trippers, and we want to thank Anna again oh, yay. for a wonderful cooking class. So, we eat. We travel. We, we eat, eat and, and travel. travel. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the flip side here from our current home of Lisbon.